Instagram. Okay, so um, for our Chicago Neighborhood Finance Project, we did our research on the West Loop. I'm Samantha Magdaleno. My name's Anthony. I'm Steve. Yeah. I'm Max. So, here we go. So, as you can see here is the uh, map of the West Loop neighborhood. The boundaries of the West Loop run from Grand Avenue to, to, um, to the north on I-290. <clears throat> from condos to offices to shopping to hotels. As you can see, this neighborhood has it all. We have um, Greek Town, which is a dining and nightlife district, very popular among tourists, as you can see right there in the center. Uh, we have the Fulton River District, which is on the top left corner. It's home of the Boeing and Agua Transportation Center. Uh, we also, within the Fulton um, District, we have the Fulton Market, which is a very mar modern urban culture and commerce area. <clears throat> Hold on, where am I? I don't know where I can see. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, and then, as you can see, right underneath Fulton uh, District is Randolph Street, which is um, also commonly known as Randolph Row because um, it's lined with some of Chicago's best restaurants. It's uh, very popular amongst you know, Chicagoans and tourists uh, around the world. Um, you can go ahead to the next slide. Okay, um, so I'm gonna talk about um, the ethnicity of the West Loop and a little bit of history behind that. So um, around the 1840s, um, Greek background people, crap, that was horrible. Um, in the 1840s, Greeks began to migrate to the West Loop. Um, they most of them came from Greece, but some came from all over the rest of the world. Um, they came to the West Loop um, to find jobs, and that's just kind of the nest egg where they settled. Um, some shops that they opened way back in the day are still around today. The um, uh, Athenian 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 Candle Shop on uh, 300. Halstead was one of the original Greek businesses and is still operating today. And here's a picture of it. Okay, so the shift in the neighborhood. Um, in the late 60s, um, the development of the new expressway and the University of Chicago, popularity growing, um, kind of pushed Greektown a little north. And with that push, they changed from being a primary um, meat packing industry um, with warehouses into a um, restaurant row now. Actually, there's barely any warehouses. It's mostly just restaurants. And um, basically, the West Loop is the place to be now. And Stephen and Anthony will um, um, kind of go on about that. So now I'm going to talk about how the West Loop has undergone the major business and real estate boom. And over the past two decades, West Loop in Chicago has gradually shifted from meatpacking operations, commercial storage, and food distribution, so our finances and restaurants. And as a result, there was a rapid expansion of residential, retail, and commercial growth. And now many, now many corporations have moved their headquarters to the West Loop, and it seems to be moving away of the packing district in New York in 10 years to retire with retail and tourists. <clears throat> so we were able to go to a restaurant called Palace Grill Sandwich Shop in the West Loop. Uh, here are some pictures of the place. It's the sign in front. That's uh, the little dining area they have, and that's the other left side of the dining area that they have. Go ahead. Uh, Plaza Grill is a notable and iconic restaurant. It's really close to United Center, which is why a lot of people know about it. It's averaged a 4.5 out of 5 star review, and it's located on Madison and North. What's that street? Bloomington. Bloomington Street. So right now we're, we're going to be showing you guys a two minute clip of uh, we interviewed the uh, an interview we got to take with the owner of the shop. This is, there's nothing cheap about this neighborhood. I'd like to miss to a neighborhood 
San Francisco about nine ago. And I noticed that it's so expensive. That uh, an 800 square foot unit in San Francisco rents for three thousand dollars a month. I mean, that, that's, that's what's happening in this neighborhood. Wow. And with more of the insurgents of more and more of these companies coming here, I can only imagine it, it's going to get more and more like that. I mean, girl, rents and rents are here. How do I write 2500 bucks a month? I mean, that's a little bit of a place, but rents are still quite expensive here now. Yeah. Uh, you know, you can understand we're really close to downtown. This, the, the downtown area, you couldn't go east because of the lake. North is Phil, south is Phil. The only place you're going to go is west. Everything else is done, but the only way downtown can expand is west, and that's what's happening. Yeah. So west, west loops the place to go. Yeah. 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 No question. Residential living, companies, businesses, no question. New place in Chicago to be. I'm in mean, I'm right in the middle of that. Yeah, it's it's awesome. We're right in the pros of it. I mean, all these other places where Johnny can lay base, we've been here for a few cheap ones that are longer than me as company. We had soft children, but um, there's not a lot more, especially retail food service, there's not a lot more than a bit here. So this is now one of the any residents res residences options that were available back in the late nineteen eighties. And these towers are presidential towers and they were one of the luxury uh, apartments in the West Loop. And now I'm gonna show you guys an interview of a person who used to live in the presidential towers in nineteen eighty five.
Um, so as you can see on here, this is just kind of a map showing uh, new projects that are either proposed or underway for the future. Um, as you can see, there's an increase in development. I mean, especially over here at this area, right here towards um, I-290s. No, I'm sorry, 90 West. Um, and so you can see that there's a lot of potential in having a business here in the West Loop. It's a, there's a lot of opportunities there and a lot of businesses are looking to, um, to have their businesses in this area. Yeah, and uh, here's some um, just examples of what's currently going on right now. Um, with new businesses coming in, as far as the buildings, they're rehabilitating old buildings, um, some of the old warehouses in the meatpacking industry that used to be there. And they're also building new buildings. So on the left, you can see it's an old building. They're kind of remodeling. And on the right, it's a, a modern building that they are adding in the West Loop. And these pictures were taken by Stephen. Um, yeah, these are my kids, right? Yeah, these are um, just some more pictures. Um, as you can see, um, there's a bunch of construction companies, so it's good competition. They're all competing with each other, which is good for the economy. And I'm gonna take this to Anthony. He's gonna talk a little bit more about that. Uh, most of these businesses here that we see are just some examples of big uh, companies that are moving their headquarters to the West Loop. So we know the McDonald's just plan to move. We know that Google also is already building and Twitter and Boeing are already there. Um, another one is also Uber that is there. Um, so corporations are extremely valuable to the West Loop's future growth. Um, headquarters obviously provide many jobs for you know people who live in Chicago and the area surrounding it. Um, it adds prestige to the area uh, because you know it just brings in more people into this um, part of Chicago, and people want to move into the West Loop. Um, and local retail and restaurants will also benefit from this because obviously the more headquarters, the more it'll bring in. Um, sales to uh, small shopping stores around the area and restaurants, local restaurants. So overall, bringing in these you know big corporations into the West Loop is not only good for the West Loop, but for Chicago as well. So now I'm going to talk about the <clears throat> income multiplier from these corporations. So according to the Bureau of Economic Analysis, the income multiplier that with the headquarters is 3.5. So what this basically means that each headquarter that moves to the West Loop is gonna create one job with the headquarters and 2.5 other jobs for the area. And as a result, the economy is going to grow. So McDonald's plans to, is going to plan to build their headquarters, like Anthony said, in the spring 2018. They've already started doing construction that will supposedly house 2,000 McDonald's employees. That will be 600,000 square feet. And then McDonald's, and McDonald's has recently been donating $100,000 to their Oakwood location, and West Loop can expect to receive those donations from McDonald's. One of the great things about the West Loop is uh, that they have uh, great entertainment nearby, just a couple of blocks. Um, mostly at the United Center, it's uh, home to the Chicago Bulls and the uh, Blackhawks. Um, it helps the West Loop, just like for our, our example of uh, Palace Grove, since it's right next to it, people usually go straight after there or before the games, and it, um, it's really great, great for business for him. And. Uh... That's it. Thanks for listening. Yeah. <laughs> Any questions?